All right, YouTube, back with another one. I know it's been a couple of weeks, maybe a month, since I uh, posted my last video um, of the cat I built. That was done when I showed it to you guys, which is over there, chilling. Um, end up coming across two X-18s right after I got that done for a sick deal. Um, this is one of them. Um, both of them ran, you know, just a little stupid thing, bolts and stuff like that. So this one, I ride all the time. I haven't even rode the cat eye since I, uh, since I got this one. So it's basically a showpiece, basically, uh, something to prove. Cousin of mine's wrong. He said I wouldn't be able to do it. And I kind of stepped up this time, took it to the next level, brought a, you know, press, uh, pipe bender over there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to town. So I know I think I told you about this one and my cousin's bike over there that's under the cover. Um, really ain't going to give you all too much on this one. It, it's really nothing special to me. Yes, it does have a 79cc uh, motor on it. This is literally going to be done today. I got to run fuel lines, put plastics, everything on, and that's completely done. Lights and everything will work, but of course, the 79cc Predators having problems trying to figure out how to uh, hook a charging system up to it. I'm not going to put much thought into it. Keep your batteries charged, you know, that's all I can say. Um, as far as all my other bikes that come with the charging system, all, every, all that must work. If it, if it doesn't have fenders, more than likely it's a part bike to me, and I will not use it. But the purpose of this video today is to show you... My X18 8th mile drag build I'm going to do. Just for, for, for giggles, you know, take it down the track, 8th mile, ride around the track, shock a couple people. That motor is not staying on there. That's just to line my chain up. As you see, I completely stretched it. I still got to do some welds. Um, get a couple, get, get some ideas from you guys. Do you think I should go ahead and just cut this whole top bar off, redo it, send it back to the end, you know, make it a little, make it, make it my own. But yep, I custom did everything. My weld is not the best, but shh, yeah, can't complain about that, you know. But yep, I redid everything. I drummed everything in so my bearings and everything would fit. You know, it's 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 done exactly to the T. It doesn't bind. It's straight. It's rubbing right now because the chain is a little loose. But other than that, that's where the chain is probably gonna sit at without sitting on it. So it, it it's perfect. It's coming out way better than I expected it to for my first legitly uh tubular hand bent you know but that's a start uh my plan for the motor I'm not going to give it up to you guys yet i want to keep you guys wondering i know i don't have a lot of followers yet you know or a lot of people that may not be interested in this type of things but i'm gonna catch your attention with this one and this is just you see how many i got in the shade you know i still got two in the house that i'm actually redoing for my nephew and my daughter but uh, my daughter kind of liked the way that one's coming out. So she wants me to do that to her X7. But like this one right here, that's I, I can't do nothing to it because I've had it so long. It was like one of the first bikes I brought. And literally after I got this, my father found one with the gears, with the clutch. And t yep, it's been sitting ever since. I took and cleaned the carburetor up and it fired right up, you know, so... I'm actually thinking about selling this one. My key's somewhere in here. I probably can give you guys a little, little start on it. I know I put the key in here. So, ah, there it is. But uh, see if I get lucky. Last time I came out here a couple of days ago, I started it up, took it for a ride, took it for a ride, and she was fine. So let's see. Let's see what she's gonna do. Fires right up. Look at that. <laughs> That's I had this thing for years, man years on top of years but that one's for sale if anybody's interested i'll probably let it go for a good deal you know like i said it is really 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 clean i usually don't do the things with the plastic sitting on it but it's not hurting it so i'm not going to complain now if it was something i freshly painted like that one over there yeah we probably wouldn't be uh, having nothing touching on it but you see ain't nothing touching that one either <laughs> these i got cover on it but that's not that's not what this video is for i i pull all my bikes out one day and give you guys a good tour of everything i got going on but yep this is it just know it would not be a motor like that going on here it's probably going to be something uh 250 cc or higher because like i said it is going to be a um 
Just an eighth mile fun drag build. May take it down to the uh, car meets down the street on Thursdays, right down the street from me. And, you know, try to get some guys to ride with. Get some guys who may be interested in me doing some work for them and things. Like I said, this is stuff that I've been doing since I was a kid. And I never really thought about putting it on YouTube or, or even trying to get known off of it because I enjoy doing it. I never think about picking up a camera. Even with this build, I should have showed y'all when it looked like that, you know. Should have took it up, gave y'all a video of how it looked, what it started out with. Of course, the plastics are all right there. Everything's different. All that's getting, you know, uh, uh, fiberglass resin on it, all that. Everything's getting done. So once that one gets done, this one, I probably only swing this, extend the swing arm just to make it fit. I don't think I'm going to stain it, but this one right here is going to be more of my everyday rider. Turns everything, like the way it looked, fresh paint. Upgraded muffler, you know, motor, bells and whistles. This right here, oh, she's going to be a beast. So that's why I started this one first. Like I said, I do have two more in the house that I actually, uh, one I actually went over and uh, did all the paint, repainted the frame, you know, like detail to the T, factory looking. Um, took the motor apart, made sure everything was good with the motor, all that good stuff, oil change. Like I said, I got that one for a good deal and, um, Probably, God really didn't want to sell it to me for where it was, but he couldn't show me that it ran when I was down there, so I got it for a deal, and I got it home. And of course, I had to do a little bit of work, clean the carburetor. Everything was all clogged up from, of course, sitting in somebody's basement for 10 years. You know, what do you expect leaving gas in it? So, but yeah, this is what it is so far. Probably another uh, two to three weeks. I'm going to find a date that I'm going I'm to find a day. I don't know if it's going to be on the weekend or Saturdays that I'm going to drop at least one video every I'm gonna say three weeks to a month you know I'll be keeping you guys posted some type of way um, little updates little stupid things I'm doing around the shop cleaning up and you know maybe even give you a little tour of the shed of of how I got that thing set up you know it's eventually once I finally finally get it done you know it's AC and all so I, I sit in there all day um, drink my brew and try to come up with master plans for myself you know this is just something i'm doing yeah i haven't showed y'all the drift track that i started yet that that let me save that for a little while keep y'all get y'all in tree it get y'all get y'all get y'all attentions first like i said i do got parts bikes i still got a cat eye sitting here i was eventually going to take this cat eye frame fit the 212 on it Biz, though I did the 79 on that, I already have everything cut to where I wanted that. I was gonna do it on this frame to make it way cleaner, cause honestly, the cat eye frame, it's it's not as clean, you know. Like those certain spots when I brought the new shop, it didn't line up, so I had to cut, and and it drove me crazy. But like I said, I got that bike over that cat eye over cat eye over there for a 49 cc motor that ran. Had the seat. All I needed was for parts, cut it up, pieces of metal that I may need. Um, those two back there. They're just frames, a few little parts here and there. One of them got a motor on it, 49cc with the CVT on it, but I don't mess with that stuff. You know, I get them, I pull all that mess off. First, I was doing the Harbor Freight engines, which I still have a 212 Harbor Freight that I'm building for the Cat Eye. But, you know, I'm enjoying these X18s, X19s, just because the frame look better, look more like a real bike. Um, Seems like it's more I can do to it with less headache of having to literally custom everything. Everything on that kind of is custom. And pretty much everything's on this going to be custom too, but there's really not much you need to do to them. You know what I mean? Make, make stronger motor mounts for the motor I'm putting on there. Um, you know, the swing arm's coming out good. Finish welding it. Nothing crazy, you know. Um, still haven't decided what, kind of, what colors I want to go with. Um, my cousin there already took the pink. I wanted to do... Uh, do a breast cancer awareness build for for a few family members of mine. I think it'd be pretty cool to see something going down the track saying F cancer, you know. It means a lot to everybody, and that's that's really what this one is for. He said he's selling his once I get it done, that pink and pur pink one right there. The purple is not for his bike. His is the green, of course, the X1, you know. Y'all guys, some of you guys know these bikes, but those fenders are for here. I was having to be messing around. I seen the pink and the purple one there, and I was like, man, I should do the pink and the purple pink frame, purple fenders, everything else, airbrush on the fenders, F cancer, you know. Get a few of my family members to sign it and just send it. Go down the track and try to, you know, 
break records with this little thing. You know, a lot of people telling me I can't do it. <laughs> that don't do nothing but feed to the fire, honestly. You know, a lot of people told me it's things I couldn't do and I've proved them wrong. Cat out. You ain't gonna be able to get the chain to stay on it because it's stressed so much. Well, I never had a chain popped off of me yet. And it does about 55, so. Yep. I could care less what anybody say. You tell me I can't do it, I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna make sure it's built to the T, perfect. And I'm gonna make you want one. As simple as that. But, I, like I said, I do this for a hobby. I'm not competitive with nobody. I do it for a hobby. Look how straight that is. First one I ever hand bent. First one. I got a couple more bent already. Probably do a different design with the top bar and stuff like that. Just because I don't want everybody riding around or even even any of my bikes riding around with the same swing arm. I want everybody to have natural look to their swing arm, their own look fits their own bike, you know. Yeah, I might even run swing arms that don't even have this top bar on it. I might not even run no swing arms with that. It might be swing arms I built that's been welded straight to the bike, you know. But my next one is uh, once I figure out the how I'm gonna do it, probably gonna build a full mini bike drag frame. But as of right now, I'm gonna get this one done. I got a few bikes I have to get done and get out of my way because I have a few more bikes that's supposed to be coming, which are have one X18. And hopefully the guy still let me get this X12, which is really what I want. If I get the X12, I'll be keeping that. The X19, I'll probably be uh, putting a stress swing arm on it, clean it up, you know, upgrade the CDI box. Give it the little off and, and sell it to somebody for what people are selling these junk-ass bikes around here for, you know. Excuse my language, but it, it drives me crazy people sell these bikes. They don't even got half the plastics to them. I want eight, nine hundred dollars for it. You know, it's kind of ridiculous. I spent three hundred dollars for this bike with the plastics and everything, and then you got guys that sell you ones like this. You know what I mean? Spark carburetors fall off, spark plug flying out, but it had all the fenders, so I really didn't care. I paid eight hundred for this one. So this one is going to stay the way it is because I really don't feel like I need to put more money into it right now, and I ride it every day. You know. But when you get guys that sell you bikes like that, that's not even painted and got a fender or two on it where you sit at it and want seven, five, even three hundred dollars for it, it's not right. That's not fair, you know. You know, I got a bike right here that I custom built that I had my whole life. One of the, the first pocket bike I brought, not I brought, but the first pocket bike I got. You wouldn't believe what I would sell that for right now. If somebody really wanted it. Shit, five hundred dollars would be gone. You know what I mean? It's the type of guy I am. I do this for the fun. I get my fun out of it. I keep my stuff clean. And I, I, I give it to kids or, or people to enjoy them. That's what it's about. I got all these bikes because everybody said they wanted to run. I fixed them all. And, you know, first come, first serve. So a lot of guys ain't going to be riding. Um, but this is what it is. I wanted to give you guys a little update. You know, it's pretty cool, like I said. It's coming out pretty good. Still got a little bit more to do. The, the welds, all this mess right here, the little weld, weld splatters definitely getting cleaned off of there. I hope y'all don't think I'm going to paint it like that. Oh, no, we don't have that around here. But, yep, here it is. Enjoy. I'm going to try to keep it coming. Keep it coming. Mm. You know, I said I got a lot of bikes here that I'm going to be building, so <laughs> once this one get done, I probably already have another bike started and videos for that to where though I can keep you guys updated I would like to start getting to every two months, every every two months, every two weeks, posting something, keeping y'all guys updated, even if it's just a vlog or something of what I got going on, what's my plans to get ideas from you guys, even ideas on new builds. It could be something y'all want to challenge me to do, build a three-wheel bike from ground up, you know, go get the pipe, build it from ground up, you know, blah, 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 you know, anything. Give me ideas, because this is what I'm doing right now. Um... I'm home, I'm not working right now. I'm currently starting my own mobile mechanic business and it's been fairly successful. So on my spare days when I'm not running around during the morning, this is what I do. You know, gotta have another hobby. Gotta have another hobby. You know, so. Especially with everything being closed because of this, this COVID, COVID mess, you know. Why not find something else to keep you excited? I'm not a video game guy, even though I do play Call of Duty. I'm not one to sit in front of the TV for too long. This is where I'm at. This is my ride. Bring the kids out. Let the kids jump on a trampoline. Um, swing set on the way. So I've got to get all this leveled out for my daughter's swing set. Um, 
of course my little man's on the way too so i'm trying to get all that set up to where as though i can be out here working kids can run around and play i can see them they get hot they can come inside the shed get an ice cold soda juice drink i ain't gonna say soda my kids don't drink no soda we don't do that over here but juice you know water whatever everything's in the shed so we don't have to go in the house which is why i did it like that when we're outside we're outside but yep i'm um i guess i'll post another video here in a couple weeks um like i said i'm gonna start off probably monthly posting a video of you guys on the same a uh, video for you guys on the same exact date that today would be but not this date of course but i'm gonna keep you guys posted i hope you guys enjoy it i'm um like i said being creative a lot of people hit me up like man tell you i didn't know you could even do things like that man you know you got a bright mind I was like, I never had the money to blow it on investing in myself. And like I said, I've been saving every penny. I've been blessed to have uh, real good jobs and everything. So I was able to save some money and be able to invest and in, in buy welders and, and pipe benders and presses and all this crazy mess to make things like this happen. So I'm going to keep them coming, guys, man. I, I, I really like if you guys have smashed the like and share, whatever button, you know. Show people these bills, man. You never know. They might got some bikes just sitting in the basement. It's like, man, I wonder if you buy it. I will buy it. Just, you know, shoot me a message. Any questions. Y'all want something, you know, another swing arm built or something, you know, or anything, you know. Let me know. I make it happen. I get the metal for a real good deal. So, I probably could beat. I'm pretty sure I'm going to beat Pocket Bikes Unlimited site. Even though they don't sell them no more. Um, yep, so. Hope you guys enjoy, man. I'm pitting my all in this one. So, smash that subscribe button because I'm going to keep them coming. Like it. Share it. Tell your friends. Everything. Because uh, if you think the Cat Owl is a nice bike, wait till you see this one. I promise you that one. It's going to be different from any pocket bike you've ever seen.